OK, so can I ask the presenters and the hosts to turn on their cameras, please? We are missing Brian to see his face. Come on, Brian. Yeah. All right. So I will just remind you all that uh, we are recording this uh, this event. So the presentation and what we are saying will be recorded as well. So can I ask our host to start? Greetings, everyone, and uh, thank you so much for joining this webinar. I am so excited and joining you from Zimbabwe, and um, because of technology, we are also talking to you guys in Poland. Uh, so we are very much appreciating for giving us this opportunity to um, hear from you and hear the opportunities that you have for us as Zimbabweans. One thing that I know is a lot of Zimbabweans are looking for opportunities to learn and um, opportunities to grow their careers beyond the borders of Zimbabwe. So with you uh, on board and my fellow Zimbabwean Brian, who is here to share his story uh, of his journey at Lords and the opportunities that he got from Lords and uh, Poland, I'm sure that we are going to have a very uh, informative session that will help us uh, choose careers in different um, areas. So I would like to hand over uh, this time to Brian so that he, um, join, he explains or shares his journey with us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Barreta uh, from uh, Poland, right now based in Poland, from Zimbabwe, obviously. Uh, I am a graduate. I graduated in master's in international marketing in 2019. Now I'm based in Poland and I'm working in Poland. So I'm looking forward to welcome you all to study in Poland and stay also in Poland. Who never knows? Probably in Europe. So I'm passing the mic to the boss of international relations, Liliana. Thank you, Brian. Uh, I would like to thank you all for being here with us and um, especially to our host and uh, a person who helped us organize it, Ms. Tofara. So thank you very much for all your work and your staff's work. Uh, we are very happy to be here for the first time in our university history to present the offer of educational system of Poland and our university, University of Łódź, Lodz. There are many names because it's not easy to pronounce the, the last name, the, uh, the last uh, part of our, I mean, the name of our city. Uh, and I'm here with, uh, with the team members of the International Relations Office. Let me start with uh, Justyna Izadorczyk, uh, who is here with us. Yeah. And Mieczysław uh, Pakosz, if he can hear me. <laughs> he, he can. Okay, there's also uh, Anja Stolarek with us. And also Veronica, who is at our technical support. And uh, if you can just mention at the very beginning some 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 part of the our coexisting here, so we can all share and ask the answer the questions of yours, how it works. Thank you, Liana. So um, as for our guests, uh, we have like you, you have two options to uh, ask us uh, questions. First of all, there is a there is a chat, regular chat where we would like to hear from you, uh, like if you are doing well, uh, just saying hello uh, to us. Uh, however, if you have some specific questions related to the topic of our webinar uh, about the studies, uh, then we have Q&A uh, section. It's uh, on the top of the app. Uh, over there, you can ask the, the questions. We will be we'll try to answer them uh, as quick as possible. And uh, some of the questions, if they keep repeating, we will uh, mark them as featured questions that we can also come back later at the end of the webinar. OK, so I think that, ah, by the way, if you have any troubles with the with the Internet connection, if you see that I don't know, maybe presentation or our uh, our faces are frozen, we suggest to you know leave the meeting and come back uh, after a few seconds. Usually it works. Right. 
OK, thank you. And uh, I will start, but uh, the team members will join me in a, in a moment to explain more about the, uh, the today's webinar. Uh, what I would like to say at the very beginning is that uh, we are very excited to be here with you, all of you. Uh, I, we realize that there are some high schools from Zimbabwe and behind the one uh, selected person here for the Teams Connection, there is a whole group of students and uh, high schoolers um, yeah, joining us. So hello, big hello to all of you. And hopefully you will enjoy uh, our webinar. Uh, let me just tell you that the, at the end of our presentation, we are going to have question and answer section. So if you ask questions uh, in that specific se section of our uh, meeting today, we are going to uh, answer your questions in person at the very beginning and the very end, sorry, of this of this uh, presentation. Uh, and what we are going to talk about today, we are going to talk to, about um, the educational system in Europe, in Poland specifically, and Poland is a, a country that is within European Union. We are going to talk about the study offer of our university and about the fact that, you know, the the, the level of, 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 of education is quite high in Poland and it's quite interesting to see that there is a big influx of uh, international students to Poland in recent years. We are very happy about that. And we are very happy about the fact that they choose Poland for their future career. And that's what this country actually needs. Um, Poland is considered a safe uh, uh, country. Our city is one of the safest in Poland. And I think this is also part of the reason why, as a university, uh, a public university in Poland, we have um, we we are number three in uh, in respect of the number of international students in our university, and that's why we decided to promote and inform more uh, possible candidates, prospective students about our offer. And this specific project, where we um, work together with Tofara in Zimbabwe and, and other countries, is funded by uh, by Polish Ministry and precisely by the agency uh, for uh, Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange. So this is something that's worth mentioning that there are also some scholarships there uh, for those of you who might want to find some additional funding for the studies abroad. But just to tell you, studying in Poland is not that expensive compared to other European countries or outside Europe like Canada and Great Britain. If you bear with us, if you listen carefully, you will find out that the cost of living is quite affordable here. So there's going to be a lot of information um, in a nutshell, I believe. There is going to be uh, talk about the exchange possibilities once you are a student. At the end, we are going to show you a couple of short uh, uh, films very short and Brian also will join uh, his own story uh, that he uh, uh, he had with us. So yeah, let's start. So if I can ask for the first um, uh, first um, uh, slide, please. The, uh, the reason why we are here with you is the fact that we have noticed that the uh, there's a growing number of uh, Zimbabwean uh, students in Poland. Of course, the number is not huge, as you can see. It's uh, you know, two thousand almost two thousand five hundred uh, in the year two thousand twenty one to two thousand twenty two. Uh, right now, pro possibly more. But still, if you look closely, you will see that within one year, the number of students in Poland doubled, and that gave us uh, an idea that well, there is an interest in the studying uh, in studying in Poland, and uh, there is something positive going on here. So we decided that. Uh, let's let's make sure that whoever pursues the career in Poland, they will learn something about that. OK, because today during the session, you will learn about Poland, you will learn about uh, our city and our university. But of course, there are more universities in Poland. And maybe if our offer is not, um, you know, something uh, that you want to pursue, you will find interest in something else. Uh, so that's our goal for today. The next slide. In the next slide, what you are going to see is that uh, which university, our university, we are very much uh, fond of the national, um, the, the different nationalities being here with us, because what we believe in is that the, uh, the variety, the diversity of different people here with us in academic uh, body 
is something of value. This is something that we can actually, uh, you know, we can learn from. There's a background of all of those people coming from different countries and as, um, as Poles, and all together we can learn how to be respectful of one another, how to uh, how to understand and communicate better, even though we come from different cultures. And it is obvious and just natural that the, uh, the situation is uh, uh, always different for each of us. But there is something we have in common. And if you uh, when you see the next slide, you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, we might be different as far as our appearance go, uh, goes, but we are all really the same human beings and if we think really for a moment what is it that we have in common is that's what we what we uh, that what this is what makes us uh, human beings we all want to be happy in life we want to pursue success in personal and work areas we want to feel you know that we belong and that we have uh, a place in in life so that's you know, normal and just natural for all of us, irregardless, regardless of the fact how you look, if you are, you know, or you have different eye color, if you dress differently, have different characteristics or or, or even your own character. So we enjoy doing projects in which we, we, uh, we show others and we learn from one another that life is about, you know, respect. It's about uh, finding your own place. Uh, so this is just a very, uh, you know, a short intro to our presentation. But what you hear later, I think you will be touching upon that. At the very beginning, let's watch a short movie, very short and very new, because we have just uh, made it um, uh, together with the company uh, this week. So if you look at that, you will see the city. And this is city. And actually, we are sitting in the building to the right. In the the yellowish building to the right. That's where we are right now, waving to you. But it's winter time, so this this shot is from uh, summertime. Uh, let's watch it, and then the team members are going to join um, uh, the webinar and explain and give you more uh, explain you and give you more information about our university. So thanks for now. See you in, at the end. The city of contrasts, a source of knowledge, a place of experiences a space of gatherings, and boost efforts for change. Our strength lies within diversity. We connect with the past while looking with interest towards the future. We believe in people, in their energy, passion, beauty. University of Watch, free your mind. Um, okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm, my name is Justyna, as it was mentioned at the beginning by Liliana. I am the admission officer at the University of Lodz in the International Relations Office. I have been working here for more than 13 years, so I'm quite experienced in my job. And I'm really very happy that I'm here today with you and I can present our university and our study offer for international students. So I would like to uh, continue with the presentation. OK, and here on the map, you can see uh, the location, mainly the country, which is Poland. It's located in the central part of Europe. The name of the city is Łódź. Uh, it is also located in the central part of Poland. Uh, as you can see, um, or I, can, I, can, I would like to tell you that Poland faces the, the sea in the north and mountains in the south. And Poland is, um, has a great location uh, for uh, traveling. Uh, the transport connection to the whole European Union is really very good, so you can easily travel with your student visa to many different countries in Schengen, uh, Schengen zone. Okay, next one, please. Okay, here you have the, the chart that we prepared with like main facts and uh, figures about Poland. So, uh, population 38 million, uh, official language in Poland is Polish. However, uh, many people speak um, English for sure. 
a younger generation, it's easier for them to speak English. Uh, we have four seasons in Poland that might be interesting uh, for you. Uh, cold winters up to minus 20. And now we have winter time in Poland, but the temperature is around uh, zero Celsius degrees. We have hot sunny summers up to 35 uh, Celsius degrees and rainy falls and beautiful springs, colorful springs. And the capital city is Warsaw with uh, about 2 million uh, people. Main uh, religion is Christianity and our currency is Polish Zloty. However, we are in the European Union. We have and we use our national currency. And uh, it's worth to add that our uh, education uh, system is divided into two. So if you decide to come here and apply for a bachelor's degree, you will study for three years. And if you come for master's degree, you will study for two years. And maybe you have heard uh, names of uh, famous Polish uh, people like Friedrich Chopin, Robert Lewandowski, maybe you heard Maria skurowska kiri John Paul II. These are the, the famous uh, Poles that we are proud of. Okay, please, next slide. Okay, here you have the photo, the beautiful photo of Warsaw. This is not wood, this is Warsaw. As you can see, it's beautiful architecture, modern architecture. However, we would like to stress that a Warsaw in comparison to wood is definitely more expensive uh, to live and, and to study. Okay, some facts about wood. So as you could see, it is situated in the heart of Poland. Um, in English, we say Lodz. In Polish, we say wood, which literally if we want to translate it into Polish, it means a boat. It is situated 125 kilometers away from Warsaw. Uh, it's easily accessible by, by train, only one hour, 15 minutes. Uh, you can get to Warsaw and uh, from Warsaw to Łódź. Uh, our population is almost 700,000 people. As I said, you know, it's really very easy to travel from our city either by plane, by train, by bus, or by car. We are very proud of our 19th century industrial history, which was textile. We used to have many textile factories in our cities, and it's very popular among tourists. And also, I would like to add, as you can see, like on this, on this logo, 600 years of wood because this summer we celebrated anniversary of, of wood. We had many festivals and during this, uh, this time, wood became a place of unusual tourist activity. Uh, you can imagine that uh, so many guests came that the city was, was almost booked. Okay, next one, please. Okay, here on the photo, you can see uh, like the former textile factory Nowadays, it's the biggest in Poland uh, shopping mall. It is called Manufaktura. And in the right upper corner, you can see like some, some logo of National Geographic because uh, wood has been recognized uh, the, the, place, the best place in Poland uh, for, for visiting. And definitely we are glad that an effort put into revitalization and into bringing the greenery to the urban space has been noticed and appreciated. Okay, and on this slide, uh, we wanted to present you uh, the main building of the university, like rectors uh, sits here and um, like the main administration works here. What I would like to stress and what might be unique for you on this photo is this uh, white covering on the ground. It's snow as definitely when you come to Poland, you will experience it and you might be a little bit surprised. Uh, when a temperature goes below zero, uh, you know, the rain turns into like snowflakes and then we have snow and it's winter time season. It's quite uh, not so not so colorful because trees has no leaves and well that's how it is
Okay, and now I would like to tell you more about the university. Uh, we are public university. Our foundation year is 1945. We have more than 2,000 of academic staff, uh, more than 23,000 of international, uh, so, I'm sorry, of uh, domestic students. And we are leading university in terms of number of international students in Poland. We are number three among public universities in Poland. So we have over 1,000 students studying in English at our university. And you can easily find us in uh, international rankings. Okay, so now we will talk about faculties that we have at our university. Uh, we have 12 faculties and one branch outside Łódź. Um, you can easily read the, the names of the faculties, but I would like to add that unfortunately not every faculty offers programs in English. Those that are like marked in bold, uh, they have programs in English. So like economics and sociology, faculty of philology, faculty of mathematics and computer science, faculty of international and political studies and faculty of management. Okay, and here you have the list of our study programs that we offer in English. So it's divided into bachelor's degree, which is three years, and master's degree, that is two years. Uh, so definitely, if you are interested to run your own company, you can choose business management, either economics. Both of the, the study programs are accredited by the International Accreditation Council for Business Education. If you are interested in computer science, you have to be very good in mathematics because uh, during the admission process, your grade uh, from this specific subject will be taken into account. And during uh, this program, you will have a lot of mathematics. But we have an offer for you, uh, if you don't like mathematics, you can easily choose from international marketing or international and political studies. Uh, please remember that our admission is open once a year. Uh, this year it will be open from the 7th of May. Our deadline is 15th of July. And after you apply, uh, you will be given an admission letter to apply for a visa in Pretoria. Our embassy is located in Pretoria. Uh, and then at the end, you should come to Poland before the academic year starts. Usually, well, always, it starts on the 1st of October. Okay, and here on this slide, we would like to stress what documents you need for admission. Uh, please have a look at this link and remember it. It's www.admissionunilots.pl. Uh, later on, we will share some links in the chat uh, for you to remember. So what documents you need for admission? An application form is just like your personal data. Uh, for bachelor's degree, we need your A-levels or your national ZIMSEC. Both documents, well, either you have A-levels, either ZIMSEC, they should be legalized by the Polish embassy in Pretoria. And also you should upload your transcript of records with grades from these e exams. Uh, also, you should upload us an eligibility statement stating that you can study at the university in your home country. We will ask you to write a cover letter, like you should explain why you decided to come to Poland, why you would like to study, for example, computer science and English language uh, certificate. However, yeah, we know that Zimbabwe is an English-speaking country, so in this situation there is no need uh, to upload any language certificate. Okay, and the last thing that I would like to mention is uh, we would like to tell you why students choose UEU. So last year we sent a survey to our international students and here you can see their answers, why they decided to study at the University of Lodz. Definitely uh, they really uh, appreciate the great location of our city which is in the central part of Poland modern study of uh, 
and they said that it's really a, a very good at our university. Attractive tuition fee in comparison to other Polish universities and universities in European Union. Of course, affordable costs of living, the same. Uh, if you compare uh, the, the, you know, the rent for a place in a city or in the dormitory, you will pay less than in Warsaw, for example. And we offer our students student-friendly atmosphere and job possibilities for students and graduates. Okay, that was my part. Uh, so now, can we have the next slide, please? Oh, and uh, my, my last slide is about Brian. And here we can see his photo from his mobility exchange in Aveiro. We heard that he really enjoyed his stay there. And in a minute, we will have a video with his short speech about the university. Thank you very much for staying with us. Uh, after this video, my colleague Mieczysław will continue with the presentation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brian Barreta, a graduate, former student at the University of Łódź. I graduated at the University of Łódź with Masters in International Marketing at the Faculty of International and Political Studies. I came to study in Łódź in 2017 Friends lured me to come and study at the university. They told me all the nice things about Wuch, so I decided to come and study. Besides, I had visited Wuch in 2016 in summer, so I fell in love with the city. When I came to study, there were two main challenges that I had. That was the weather and the language. Fortunately, I managed to find my way through, and I'm still pulling through. At the beginning, also, I never thought that I was going to be embraced because I was the only student uh, from Africa in a 45 student class. But I was so embraced to the point that I even forgot that I'm away from home. Uh, the most things that I like about the University of Wuch is the integration of the students, the Erasmus program, and also the lecturers there. They are also wonderful. They walk down with you until you finish. Even when I was abroad, in uh, doing my Erasmus in Portugal, I was in constant contact with them until I finished my thesis. And the, when I was in Aveiro in uh, my Erasmus program, this was one of my dream come true because I have always wanted to be in uh, in Portugal in Fatima and University of Wish managed to help me to fulfill my dream. So that's one of the best things that I'll always remember about University of Wish. Well, the advantages of learning at the University of Wish, I would say, you have got the Erasmus program. It is always with you, the scholarship. And you just have to make sure that you work hard to get it. And it's not that hard. Number two, it's not even difficult for you to apply at the university on your own without anyone helping you. And number three, the International Student Office, they will walk down with you until you finish your studies. They are still with me. I finished my studies long back, but they are still with me. I'm now working at Fujitsu uh, Technology Solutions since 2019, and I love to stay and live in Poland. I have always embraced Poland because I have met nice people, wonderful people, thanks to the University of Łódź, and free your mind. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody, once again. Um, I will tell the last part of this today's presentation, today's webinar. Um, you will also have a possibility to talk to Barreta and ask him some questions, maybe at the very end of our presentation. Um, so let's just go ahead before uh, I will talk to you something about the mobility possibilities and career opportunities. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Mieczysław. My surname is Pakos. I know it's hard to pronounce. Um, however, I work with international students for almost 10 years here at the University of Łódź. And I'm the project manager of the project Liliana mentioned at the very beginning. Uh, the project is funded by the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange under 
the Welcome to Poland program. Uh, we are uh, threatening our admission, uh, our admission potential uh, through sharing experience with other universities, uh, as well as by um, enhancing our brand at chosen educational markets and among them are Zimbabwe also. OK, let's go ahead with the presentation uh, because we have limited time. OK, uh, I hope you can uh, see the presentation right now. Um, mobility programs. Um, as the University of Łódź, we do offer a wide range of mobility opportunities for its students and majority of mobility possibilities are offered within Erasmus Plus program, which is cross European program funded by by the European Union and by taking the advantage to going abroad within the mobility offer all students study at the partner university for free as well as they receive monthly allowance from 400 up to 600 euro depends on the destination country plus some travel uh, support. Uh, there are also available some mobility possibilities outside Euro uh, Europe and the point is that students who are participants of mobility are better prepared for future job opportunities at as they are gaining strong multicultural experience and the knowledge about different countries. Um, important thing is that all mobilities uh, are listed in the future degree supplement. So if the employer hires our graduate, it will, it will give the job applicant additional benefits during the job seeking process. Uh, as part of Erasmus Plus, academic mobility, our university carries out exchange, exchanges for students for whole process and the period of stay at the host university in the partner countries. It is important here to know that mobility student can be a citizen of any country in the world. So all students are invited to participate in the mobility. So if you are a student of the University of Łódź, you can easily apply for such mobility opportunity and go for another country uh, um, for one semester or one year. The only condition is to have student status at the University of Łódź. Uh, as the International Relations Office uh, at the University, um, we are fully responsible for student exchanges and we provide full support and assistance needed in application process. Uh, because it's not only application process at the University of Łódź, also at the, the, uh, the university in our partner countries. Important information is that during the mobility period, the tuition fees at the University of Łódź are reduced by 50%, so you can easily transfer this amount to your mobility period in a uh, different university, different country. Okay. Um, Another thing I would like to share with you is the um, Alliance of European Universities, which we have joined two years ago. This is the European Universities of Post-Industrial Cities. Uh, this is one of the 50, one of 50 university alliances across Europe, and membership in this alliance will also have an impact on our students, even including prospective ones. Um, this is because we share experiences with other partners, how to improve our services for students, both in terms of admission as well as um, well-being activities during studies. Uh, what we can offer through Unique Alliance is uh, short-term mobility possibilities, uh, online mobilities, online language classes provided by our partner universities. Um, so uh, it is possible to take national language classes and learn some Spanish, German or Croatian languages. Um, by studying, teaching and working through Europe, our future graduates will be strong players and uh, in the labor market. So we strongly believe in that. Uh, who are the members of the Alliance? You can see on the map, um, apart from the University of Wood, there are nine more partners from different countries, from Spain to Finland, from Ireland to Turkey. Um, certainly in coming years, we will try to strain our link through students. Um, yeah, and um, this alliance became an important part of our university. OK. Uh, what's next? It's about the 
cost of studying and accommodation here in Łódź. Uh, as uh, my colleague Justyna mentioned, um, it's cheaper to stay here in Łódź than in our capital city Warsaw. Uh, the important, this thing, the important factor when you are considering international education because of the finances. Um, as you can see, the tuition fee is not so high. Average tuition is 2,500 euro per one academic year, and in comparison to other higher educational institutions in Poland or neighboring countries, it's suitable for international prospective students. Uh, however, there is another cost to take into consideration, which is cost of living. You can see here on the slide that it is about 400 euro per month, and this amount consists on the dormitory fee, necessary spendings for maintenance, uh, public transportation, as well as insurance, monthly insurance. If we are talking about accommodation, that we can assure you that uh, we have enough places for students in our dormitories, so every interested student can get a place. Uh, students stay in shared double rooms with internet access, and there are also shared kitchens and bathrooms for four up to six people. Uh, let me show you some pictures. Uh, you can see how student rooms look looks like. Um, there is all necessary uh, stuff you need to stay. The bed, a wardrobe, a fridge. Um, our campus is located in a really green area. Uh, you can see also the second picture surroundings of the dormitory. Um, it also takes only 10 up to 12 minutes to get by public transport to the city center. Yeah, so it's really well located in our city. Uh, let's go ahead. Mm. Uh, we have recently launched two other initiatives, which are welcome point and mentors for our new students. Uh, we have selected a group of students to help their younger colleagues both on site in the library in building as well as individually through social media this kind of guidance at the very beginning is really important to get to know the university and the city as well and such initiatives help students to face challenges such as classes organization or daily life during uh, sometimes first stay abroad uh, in addition, we have, um, beyond the personal guidance, uh, we do offer welcome activities such welcome meetings for all international students, integration events uh, such as barbecue party. And this year we will introduce new tools and events for our international students. Uh, those tools will be virtual welcome point as well as onboarding course plus uh, new events like sports competitions, city games, cooking workshops, excursions, and these current quizzes. So we will have uh, a lot of new activities for our new international students. Okay, uh, the last part of our presentation is about the career. Um, career possibilities, career opportunities, and support granted to our students and graduates as well. Um, but before I will pass you the information what we offer, I have to stress out one thing that is really important. Um, companies here in Poland like to hire students because they pay less taxes for such employee and we strongly do not you know, recommend to look for a job during the first semester as it is crucial to get into the studying process and focus on studies um, and it is also a time to get some Polish basic words here in Poland. Um, students are granted visa type uh, D, which is the um, student visa, means main purpose to stay in Poland here is studying, not working. And when applying for visa, you have to prove the embassy that you have enough uh, financial sources to live in Poland. Um, why I'm talking about this? Because Paying the first semester, a code in cancelling student status and visa as well. Um, however, after the first semester, most of students are looking for part-time po job possibilities, uh, and all international students here in Poland are, gra are granted 
uh, a right to work without any uh, time limit. Um, after the graduation, there is additional one year for job seekers who finished studies uh, in Poland. OK, let's back to possibilities. Um, a chance to develop Personally, um, is mentorship project for our outstanding students. This initiative links our alumni who are top managers or CEO, also representatives of culture or media with students who are about to start the career pathway uh, and they are connecting into pairs. Um, mentors set plans and goals for such students from one side and from the student side it is uh, getting strong feedback on achievements and regular meetings for consultations. Another possibility is using services provided by, uh, by our career office, our own career office, where you can find career advisors and learn how to create job application or letter of interest or also how to look for a work effectively, how to behave yourself during the job interview. Uh, also, the office offer our students job fairs organized at our faculties, uh, some workshops, paid internships or individual counseling. As the university, we have uh, strong links, links also with our local business located here in Łódź. Um, you can see some examples of the companies um, here on the slide. They are both our domestic companies as well as international. Uh, who has headquarters here in Łódź. OK, uh, and that was all from my side. Uh, I'm passing the voice to uh, our graduate, Brian, who will tell you a few words more besides the video uh, we showed you in the middle of our presentation. Thank you. Hi, everyone, once again uh, for the second time. Uh, my name is Brian Barretta, born and bred in Harare. Now I am based in Poland in uh, Łódź. Uh, I've been here since 2017 uh, and I'm enjoying, I don't want to lie, I'm enjoying being here thanks to the University of Łódź. And like they have said before, we might have questions like, uh, are we going to have, are we going to be able to work? Are we going to be able to stay in Poland after we have uh, uh, migrated yes definitely you can it also depends with your mental aptitude like what uh Mr. Swap says he said uh, we encourage that on the in the first semester you need to study instead of working remember that when you think of coming here the goal first is to study because if you want to mix the two especially the first semester if you fail this first semester you will go back home or you might not go home but you will be illegal so for you not to be illegal, you need to be in school and you need to pass. So first semester usually it's crucial. You need to study. So you need to put aside the mind of working and put in your mind or in your heart the mind to study. And you have got the opportunities, like I said, most of you, you are going to ask about uh, uh, scholarships, of course. Uh, there's always, always a scholarship for Erasmus. Uh, I think it was said, uh, it was mentioned before, uh, you choose a country to go, European Union will give you the, the, the money for upkeep that you need and you don't need to pay school fees wherever you are going. And the semester that you are supposed to be uh, doing at the University of Wush that year or that semester is transferred to the university where you, are, where you are going. I did it myself because I went to Portugal. That was my dream country and I had to spend my time there. I really enjoyed That's where you saw that picture. It was a welcome party for the uh, exchange students. So most of the times it is something that is important because you have got integration from people of different countries. So you learn a lot. So I kindly ask you and encourage you that this is the, once you come to the University of Woj, you will never regret it. Uh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that currently I'm working, I'm working as an uh, uh, IT engineer in one of the largest company in the world that is Fujitsu IT company. So, guys, you can actually grow. I'm looking forward to grow. Very soon I'll be a manager. And probably when you come here or those who are going to come here this year, probably we'll be together at my wedding. You never know. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. 
that was fun <laughs> even though your camera could have been better that's for sure <laughs> but uh, thank you for sharing your uh, your experience and uh, uh, on our end we can just confirm that Brian has been one of our favorite students <laughs> for the uh, for uh, in the last recent years and right now a favorite graduate student so we do talk uh, and connect and and sometimes you know share some information and he was one of our first students from Zimbabwe that uh, actually was so much, you know, into talking to us and being friendly that we really get to know, got to know, uh, you know, uh, how you guys from Zimbabwe are. And we like the energy. So if everybody is uh, like Brian, then do come in. <laughs> we take you in. But anyway, somebody asked a question is, you know, is it possible to to come in and study uh, when you are from a different country? Of course, uh, you know, uh, University of uh, Lodge offer uh, is for everyone. So and everyone can, you know, as a candidate apply for studies. What is important is the certificate that you have, the high school certificate or the um, degree, bachelor degree uh, that would be recognized here at our, uh, in our country, in, 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 in our university. And also what is important to pay attention to is the, the fact uh, connected to um, uh, connected to, to the visa. Uh, there is, uh, okay, we are doing this webinar uh, uh, for you guys in Zimbabwe because we do know that it is quite okay. It's all right to apply for a visa there and it's uh, possible, it is uh, uh, possible to receive one. Where, whereas it is not always true about other countries you need to double check the uh, you know how it works because some some countries have more restrictions as for coming to european schengen area okay it's not only poland but it's about schengen area there are some regulations so i uh, believe that you need to check those okay before you apply so you are not uh, later found in a situation when it's uh, close to impossible to receive a visa or a date uh, in a in a consulate to uh, uh, to meet uh, and talk about the, uh, the application. It's just not uh, so easy in some places. Uh, we as a university, we, are, we cannot interfere in the matters of visas and uh, contacting embassies. Those are two different departments, two ministries. We are under the Ministry of Higher Education. Um, you mean the education, the, you know, the universities and that's the one block and the uh, the visas are under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Those are two different departments and uh, sometimes the uh, the council asks us as a university if somebody really uh, has been accepted to, to our university. That's that's about it. Um, so we cannot do that. But thank you for that question. And uh, let's see if there are some more questions, because sometimes, you know, you have some questions. Yes, yeah, some like somebody asked if we have psychology in English. No, we do not have psychology in English yet, but there are some plans being made. I don't know when it's it, it, it is possible to happen. Uh, but what we can share with you is that our university also has a Polish language school for foreigners. It's the oldest in Poland. It runs from the 52, from 1952. And in there you can study Polish language for one year uh, to prepare yourself uh, also with the subjects to apply to Polish universities uh, uh, later on. And that has been quite popular. So uh, if you're interested, we can uh, uh, post some information about that as well. Maybe a link to that school. Uh, but otherwise, also let me tell you that psychology is one of the most popular, uh, uh, you know, programs in our university. Uh, sometimes there's over 10 people for one spot. So you have to be excellent and close to a genius to get there. Um, it's a joke, but really, honestly, your grades need to be really top to get there. Um, and there are like lots of other uh, possibilities of studies in Polish as well. Uh, once you uh, log into the website that we just shared with you, Admission uh, Uni Lodge PL, you you can find find out more. And but it is true, like uh, Brian mentioned, Polish language is not the easiest. <laughs> it's actually quite difficult. Even sometimes I'm thinking it is difficult for me because. <laughs> 
every time I'm, I'm doing the endings of the, uh, you know, of the words in a sentence, it just drives me crazy. Sorry for they, so for saying this out loud, <laughs> but out loud, but it is true. Uh, do we have medicine? No, we do not have medicine. But in our city, in Łódź, there is a medical university, and that is quite popular as well. And you need to double check with them on their website what is possible. Uh, definitely medical universities uh, in Poland and in the world as such charge uh, more uh, for the uh, for the tuition because you know it is a very specific and quite expensive uh, you know program to to study geology oh you're raising the bar here geology no but uh, I, there's a couple of polish universities that deal with that if you there are also there's also a website um uh, for uh, within ready study go poland if you uh, write in google such a, a name you the, the the ministerial website with the polish universities will pop up and you can actually check the programs that you like so if an, if i can ask uh, one of our, our staff members to find this uh, website it will be great to share with everyone uh, it's national it's ready study go poland yes and uh, there's like a search machine where you can check the universities and study offers uh, yeah thank you very much for kind words in the chat uh, we are very happy really we're really, really happy that we were able to run this and we are very thankful to Tofara. Hopefully, you are still with us, and Sharon, who are who was also with us at the very beginning, and uh, for 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 actually staying with us and and arranging, uh, making the the word go around in Zimbabwe. And uh, thank you very much to all the high school directors for for uh, allowing uh, for for this webinar to be presented at the high schools, uh, for taking the time uh, to do that. And if you want to, if you need to have uh, other questions answered, we are always uh, ready to uh, answer. Um, our website is uh, admission uh, at uni.lodge.pl. We are going to share it also at the end of our presentation again. And um, the website that I was mentioning uh, a moment ago uh, it, it has been just posted, so you can double check there as well. We do believe that our university is actually really interesting, but we also realize that some of you want to pursue other uh, directions, other programs, and it's totally fine with us. Uh, we are just sharing the good word about our country and about the fact that we are ready to receive you and happy to see you. And let's have more Brian's here, which means somebody who gets in, works hard during the studies, and succeeds and stays here with us and becomes almost a citizen of our country and knowing him he will be one soon <laughs> so that's uh, that's that is there anything else we want to add justina mitchesworf thank you very much for sharing the you know uh, information do you uh, can we share the, the last two slides again to to check that everybody remembers on what on knows who whom to welcome once you're here because i do hope we are going to see you here this or next year so Mieczysław to the left liliana that's me and justyna those are the the main speakers today the others you've uh, uh, seen at the very beginning and the contact that we have, which is the last slide, is um, uh, here with us also in the in the chat. So that's that's about that. So if nobody wants to say anything else, let me just again thank you very much for being here with us, for staying for all this time. If you have questions, do contact us, visit our website, our social media, and and double check if we are for real. But to really know if we are for real, you need to join us. And so that's about that. Thank you very much again. And see you in the future, hopefully, because we are going to repeat it in the future. Let's uh, let's let's do that. OK, so everyone, again, if you can Tofara and everyone co come up. How are you doing? Was it OK? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for the wonderful information session. Good. You, Sharon, you okay as well? Yes, I'm good. Thank you so much. Have you listened? Yes, <laughs> I, uh, I listened. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Good. All right, guys. So, uh, ladies, thank you very much again. Yes. Thank you, Veronica, for the technical support. Brian, for your presence, for taking your time off. And uh, Anya, for assisting. And uh, we thank all of you who are participate right, participating right now. And we do thank all of you who are not participating today by watching us today, because this webinar is going to be uploaded on the website. So, uh, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let us know, contact us, and see you in Watch in the future. Yes? And our Indeed. motto is free your mind, just like Brian said, right? Yeah, free your <laughs> mind, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye.